UndergroundHipHop.com, CMJ Weekend, Knitting Factory. The stars keep rolling in right about now. Legendary, legendary member of the Living Legends, Sunspot Jones in the house. Yo, what's up, people? How you doing out there in TV land? We doing this worldwide, underground. Now we on your computer. to the to tap to the to tap on that. You know what I'm saying? The other night, uh, we're out in Providence. We catch uh, Lucky I Am. He's on, he's on tour with, with, with Atmosphere. Really sauced up, really feeling himself, and he goes on a tirade about Merce and the, and the whole, what's, the, what's going on with that cat? Is it is it all jokes or is he? I'm going to tell you like this, America loves it, all y'all love it. If I even said anything, it will ruin it all. Soak it up, soak it up, it's fun, it's fun time, that's right, you love it. Now, of course, historically speaking, living legends, it, it, to some extent, the, the West Coast version of the Wu-Tang. Do you feel uh, today in 2007, all the fruits of your labor over the years have uh, pretty much put you where you want to be as far as be being recognized? I'm just like this. I'm just proud just to be here right now, sitting here talking this shit to y'all in the TV world, in t, t t tap world, you know what I'm saying? And just like, just, you know, I don't know what's put me where. I just try to just stay true to my heart and just try to make this as real as possible. And, and honestly, a lot of people are coming out with some bullshit and they come and they go. And notice we still here. You know what I'm saying? We having fun. We enjoying ourselves. And we just being a part of this culture like it's supposed to be when it comes down to enjoying yourself and really doing something raw. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah. If, I, uh, if, if I'm familiar with uh, Sunspot Jones, I never heard of Sunspot Jones. I don't know you from a hole in the wall. Who the fuck is that? How would you explain in a couple of concise sentences what I'm in for when I press play? Man, it's like this. You hear a crazy, rebellious, independent motherfucker that believes in every motherfucking word he's saying because you know what? Nobody believes in shit no more. And when it comes down to what I'm doing, every word the fuck I'm saying, I'm trying to at least be a part of something that's in your life. So that means I believe in what I'm saying. That means I'm trying to be real. That means that I'm trying to say something that's relatable. So really, where do we at? Speaking of where the weed at, uh, of course, you're a West Coast cat. You get around. You've been all over the world and all that. Where? Uh, Australia. Aust Australia? Australia. That's the pop-out spot. Bondi Beach. Crazy-ass Irish and English motherfuckers. They be jumping up, breaking shit. But Australia, I think of really, I think of really butchy. Oh, yeah. I just did a little, just a little jump up. That's a little pop it off. You know what I mean? I'm from where MC Hammer at. got an Irish camera. We draw moves. Hey, you know, the Irish is the blacks of the Europe. You know what I mean? So, you know what? Do your thing. Do your thing. Because we all related somehow. You know what I mean? And when it comes to dope-ass hip-hop, there are some dope-ass Irish motherfuckers that y'all even know about. That's a whole nother story. Get to England. Get out there. But when it comes down to... Do you not realize Australia... I mean, do you, do you uh, agree with me? Australia... They're kind of brolicky, brawny. They got real sturdy backs. Like, they're big show. I don't know. It's like a, they're like an Amazon race. Whoa, man. You really The are. chicks. I'm like, like a little. I mean, that's, you, you saw some big bitches, man. I don't fuck with big bitches, man. That's not in my. Because big bitches always want to beat you up. I don't, I don't want right, a bitch right, try to right, beat right, me right. up. Because I'm from Oakland, California. We, we, right. Anyway, that's, all another, that's another court case. Don't subpoena me for that because I didn't mean it. Look, when it come down to Australia, that's a cool ass spot because motherfuckers have no problems in the world. They're kicking back. They're chilling. They got the largest uh, shark attack numbers. Nah, you know, because motherfuckers is, is going to eat your ass when you get in the water, the jellyfish. But other than that, it's a cool place for motherfuckers just like Hawaii, Frisco, and like London all mixed in one. It's just like crazy. It's just like, you know, I, I'm, I'm laughing because motherfuckers really just got the life. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Sunspot Jones, the uh, new liaison for Australia uh, travel. Uh, the world, I'm fuck that. Madagascar. Let me tell you, we got a couple places. Nice? You ever been to Nice? It's the only motherfucking place in southern France that got motherfucking rocks, because Can got sand. But that's a whole nother thing. I'm going to see your ass over there. Dude, where the weed at? Do you, do you, does this work with, this must work with, with shorties when, when you start telling them about places in France and all that. I mean, is that, Marshall, this is an advantage, uh, Marshall, this is my, we're talking about big Australian bitches. Hell yeah, you know, yeah, that's, cross country, like, where's, cross where's, country. Man, Little bitches, tall yeah, chicks, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, all that's, good. That's I'll, what we do. I'll take all the extras. Yeah. Whoa, he's snatching up my hoes. Look what you just did, man. You done killed my whole... <laughs>
Oh, like, you know. Okay, it don't matter. All right. And now, now we got the, the, the winter's coming. What can we expect? How are you going to feed yourself off this business? What is the next project we can anticipate Man, from Mr. Sunspot Jones? Sunspot Jones, Living Legends, comes down to my new movie that I got. It's called Sunny Dreamweaver. It's featuring Garrett Morris from Saturday Night Live, Simon Rex from Scary Movie 3, and your boy doing underground hey. shit, pushing shit, believing in everything we do because motherfuckers don't believe in shit unless they got instant money. But we're going to make instant money out of this whole When you say your movie, it's something you wrote, directed? Wrote, directed, starting this shit, made that shit happen, broke my back, you know what I'm saying? Right now, I'm overdrawn because this motherfucking movie. I'm going to tell you, this is the best motherfucking movie your boy's ever done, and I put it in there 100%. You need to go holler at your boy and really support underground, independent motherfuckers doing shit because all that studio shit, they just trying to make instant money. We trying to make stories. We trying to make history. We trying to make shit that's tight that your kids will be like, Daddy, what's that? And you'd be like, look, it's that. You know what I'm saying? That's what we doing. Never stop.